The objective of the Mini Urban Challenge is to create passion. And so having an opportunity to participate in something like the Mini Urban Challenge gives them a chance to, to experience uh, the excitement of uh, engineering and science. And uh, you know, the, the hope is that they'll take that along with them as they choose their, their career path. So this is a step towards getting people excited about their future careers in an area that can have huge impacts on what takes place every day in our, in our, in our lives. The Mini Urban Challenge is so important because it introduces high school students from around the country to not only autonomous navigation, but to computer science, mathematics, and it does it in a fun and unique way that keeps high school students entertained. And sponsorships make it free to the schools to compete. By talking with the students, we found that they really enjoyed this type of competition. The Autonomous Navigation Challenge is new, it's unique, and it presents something different than what they're used to. You know, it, if, you're, if you're even thinking about going into engineering in college or having anything to do with a technical field such as robotics, uh, this competition is a great way to build skills. One of the best parts of the competition is that we get to learn so much through the process. If I hadn't been introduced to this competition the previous year, I would have never gotten into the whole programming part for robotics, which is, is a really great thing to learn. It's also a, a great experience just to see everyone, meet people from all across the country, um, and see that they're all working for a common goal in different ways. When I first came into my high school, I never even thought of doing robotics. But then I went to the meeting to get an open idea, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. Because it's so different, because you use math, you use computers, you get to build things. It's so much fun. The thing I enjoyed the most about the competition was the, the literally the competition, the actual competitiveness of it and having to compete against other schools, not just from around our, my region, but from the entire nation. It was definitely fun. I loved the, the whole competition. It was definitely worthwhile. I think the biggest thing that they learned from this is problem solving. They encountered a lot of problems trying to navigate through that city and they learned a lot of overcoming those challenges. We tried to provide that to the students that vision that, hey, uh, you can actually have an impact on, on the future of the United States as a nation. And they find that very exciting. And even if they don't pursue a STEM degree, they have the understanding of why they took the math, of why they took the science. And that's really important. And developing the skills to work in a team, be able to look at a problem and think about possible solutions, that applies to any job. One of the things we want to make sure the teachers understand is this really complements the programs that they already have in the school. They can easily integrate this into their curriculum. It's a hands-on application for the students to keep them excited about the book learning that they're already doing in the classroom. Yeah, I would recommend this competition for, for really any high school, all high schools that are looking to excite kids about technology and the STEM disciplines. Big benefits for the students, uh, in my mind, is a chance to actually apply some of the technology, the concepts that they're learning in the classroom, and, and to start to make those connections between what's going on in the classroom and what they'll need to do in, in college and, and in life. All about passion. You know, if these students leave the competition passionate uh, about pursuing a career in this area and it makes them, you know, future uh, happy adults, uh, you know, that's a great thing to be associated with.